Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Angel of Death, John Ware, back again with a special review with my special guest, Shady Jane. Shady Jane is here again. That's my lovely wife, if you didn't know. Amen. We are... Did anybody come out for the music? Not yet. That was weird. Maybe... There's maybe... The music. Maybe the... Yeah, maybe the... Probably the music guy. Oh, God, the... You're going to hear that over and over. The fire the music guy. Oh, something fell. Throughout backyard wrestling. Yeah, the, the music guy was always <laughs> uh, were scrutinized for years. No all organizations. Yes, nobody wanted to be the music guy. Mm -hmm. Well, there's... Now, you know, he's seeking revenge because he was attacked. And, and did you just see Jack? He's just running around. Maybe he was already out there. Did, just skipped his whole entrance. Was out there. Okay. <laughs> Apparently that's what happened. But Jack... Oh, low bloke. Jack interfered. No, he didn't interfere. He actually attacked... Oh, he attacked RJ the at match. the end of the last match for no reason. Was he Randy the effing deal back then? At this time? Yes, this is Randy the effing deal. Okay. So he's no longer insane? No, he's no longer... R.J. Insano, or whatever he was yeah. called. <laughs> Some kind of insane you know, thing. You're good, R.J. I love you. <laughs> oh, my God. Here is his sit-down power bomb. Face to the ground. He's got his Vandalia football shirt on. That's another low blow by Jack. And a DDT. I used his own move against him. Oh! <laughs> I think we both went for a tackle, and we just collided. Now, okay, I just want to shoot shoot this out there. This is winter, oh, of 2000. So these tapes are old, people. Oh, my God. Imagine that cold metal just laying there on you. Ugh. Imagine if the, the camera person fell. <laughs> you see Jack? I am sorry for the camera going everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is going on with the camera person? Just hold it still. Please. Okay. I do want to show a pr Oh. Show appreciation to all the camera people for over the years. For improving every match. Huge leg drop by Randy. You know how many times we would go in and review these, or, you know, try to... Oh! Oh. It clipped the side of his head. <laughs> oh! In our face. And as you can see, he doesn't put his hands up. He takes like a champ. Back oh, up. see, he took it for real, though. What in the... Jack is stupid. He just hit his own self with the chair. Just see how it feels, I guess. I mean, who attacks their self? Jack. Oh, my lord. Obviously. Oh. Well, let me tell you. Me, Jack, RJ, a lot of people jumped or was thrown off that barn. Whoa. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my mom's not happy. Oh, I kicked him in the face. He's like, stop! I'm, I'm not... What's going on? Like, I'm not happy with something. I'm trying to stop it. Oh! Maybe I wasn't ready for that spot. I don't know. No, he's... I'm like, I'm going to do it. I want to get the credit here. I was Thumbtack Jack, people. And my, my character, Thumbtack Jack... Oh, my God, I went up here pretty good. Oh, my mom's mad. Oh, oh my God! Straight to the melon. He had that slim shady hair going. <laughs> Not so slim no, I, shady. No. Sorry, RJ. I had to. RJ. These times. I just time. now thought about it, but watch Twenty One Jump Street. If you haven't watched Twenty One Jump Street, not slow, slim, slady. <laughs> What? Not slow, slim, slate? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Not slim, slim, shady. Sorry. 
I, I did not. I never. <laughs> he's laughing. He's laughing. <laughs> What's going on? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. This this one went off the rails with the with the the. Uh, <laughs> I can't even breathe. Okay, we've got to get control back under this review. Okay. Professionalism. Sorry. <laughs> Not really, but we, you know, we're having, we tried. We're having fun here. We're, oh, I'm choking them with a rope? That's uh, Thumbtack Jack. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Oh. <laughs> That's a pretty powerful punch. <laughs> okay, now he gets to get his spot in. I wanted to get the spot in first. What? He's like, get up. A little bit of that insane is coming back to him, I think. Oh, now that was a be that was a better power bomb. See, like I said, every week he got better. We both got better every week. Yeah. But I was just an awkward person to power bomb. Watching watching y'all go at it like that is the moves are like almost on point. Like you guys are studying it and. Trying to affect the moves. Ooh! Okay, he didn't hit you with his knees that time. Nope. And he went up higher. Oh, wait a minute. He got a three count. Is that it? Or is, was this a special style match? I can't remember. Maybe it's a two out of three. Because he just got the I pin. I think it's a pin and submission match. I guess we'll find out. Sometimes stuff wasn't announced before the matches. This camera, camera's crazy. Ooh, good frog splash. Let's see. Well, I mean, obviously, yeah, we didn't have a ring to train in for the longest time. Like I said, this is... This match is a two out of three. The first pit song is the Kid Hardcore. The second pit song is the Lord of Hardcore. I mean, the King of Hardcore. And the third pit song is, uh... Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, number one, the is he, is he just making the <laughs> I guess he made up his own rules. <laughs> That's the way it was back then. And Artie's just tearing him up. Okay, so the first one for, was for the Kid Hardcore, the second one was for the King. King Hardcore, and then the winner is the number one contender for the heavyweight title, I would suggest. Which would be the Lord of Hardcore, right? No, Lord of Hardcore was when you won all the titles. Oh, yeah, okay. And at, the, at this current time, Rare is the Lord of Hardcore. Oh, but see, the only way he can defend the Lord of Hardcore is if all the titles are literally in a match together with one person. True. So basically, RJ or Jack has to win all the singles titles to do that. And if I remember correctly... There was only three Lord of Hardcore matches ever, and the first one was the Randy Screwjob of 2000. Which Rare won all the titles by screwing RJ out of it. This is actually Re Randy's revenge tour, I would say. Oh, he. Whoa, look at one, two, three, four. He, that's five steps. <laughs> He's like, I shouldn't have done this. Or, watch out, watch out! Oh! Oh! Hey, that looked good, though. Yeah? That was a, it was a pretty uh, front flip. I literally just talked to RJ a few days ago, and we were talking about how good of a potential he had if he would have done some pro stuff, you know? Yeah. Wait. So... So... If I'm right, he's the king of hardcore? I mean, I'm not sure. I don't want to spew this stuff because he... He won the first one because it was a three count. Yeah, that was RJ. So that was the kid hardcore. So now he's going for king hardcore. Well, that, that was another one. So I think it's one pinfall per person. So this should be the third pinfall now for the number one contender. So he's got king and lord. No. Or king and... Uh, no, RJ king. won the first one. Then Jack just did the second one. Okay. 
So now it's the third one for the other so one. So that makes him Kid Hardcore and you... Jack. King. King Hardcore, if I'm correct. Because Jack seemed like he was confused. Oh, he went up two rungs. So he just laid on him. But Jack seemed like he was confused when he did it. So unless Rare says it. What's he putting all the boxes under there for? Probably so he didn't have to clean up later. Oh, that was a wild chair shot. Hey, there's that one chair. Like I said, them chairs just keep popping up and never put back together. <laughs> oh, it, it broke, broke again. Broke again. It'll be back out there tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> hey, if I'm right, that, that's the kitchen table over there. <laughs> but like I was saying earlier, we didn't like have a lot of stuff to train on. A mattress on the ground. And as you witnessed, it didn't, there didn't used to be, there didn't used to be uh, mattresses. It was just the ground. Yeah. And the ground is unforgiving. Very. RJ don't like the setup of that ladder there. He's going to go for something major. And I want to say the only person in the history of BWF, Yard, BWE, EIW, the only person that ever, ooh, huge, ooh, um, the only person that ever did a front flip off the barn was me, if I'm correct. A lot of people got thrown off of it, but I was the only one to actually do a uh, front flip swan tom off of it. Huh. Oh, what was that? Trash. Let's review that. Ooh. Oh, see, I need him, and now I hurt myself. <laughs> He's on his head. <laughs> so, well, I, I probably hit him for real. You know what those boxes were, don't you? Old Avon boxes. <laughs> My mom was a major player up there. Number two in her region. I was always worried about her, like, fighting the number one. Mm. Oh, a twist and stunner. I don't remember that. It was almost like a twist of fate, but it was a twist into a stunner. The stunner was his finisher. Cut. Well, I think he said cut it. My mom thought it was meant to cut. Wow. Oh, my God. Did he break his leg in the stunner? Did you see that? Oh, he just made number one contender. RJ is the number one. Oh, he's mad. Leave him alone. Oh, Jack is confused. 